Okay, everyone, let's put you all into a hypothetical situation. A situation where you have to choose between either life or death. What to eat, how to spend your free time, or even what to wear. Let's say that you are running away from an unknown evil that's within your home. It's closely following you, as you can almost feel the touch as the hairs on the back of your neck stand. You want to exit through your front door, but it's locked, and taking the time to unlock it in order to escape would most certainly give the entity time to grab you and harm you in any way it wished. You are given two options. Do you take your chances to open the door and possibly get caught, or do you continue to sprint throughout your home and try to find another solution of escape? Let's try out another hypothetical situation. You're a fast food cashier that's being paid at minimum wage. You're dealing with an upset customer who's livid about not being able to use a six month old expired coupon for an item that's normally not given deals. You have been there for eight hours already and your shift doesn't end for another four hours. Your manager has been on your ass all day for the littlest things and you're stressed, tired, and just want to go home. You thought about quitting this job, but where else would you go? You only have experience with food and every other occupation around your county needs a degree of some sort. Do you just suck it up and excuse yourself to grab your on-edge manager? Do you accept the expired coupon only to be yelled at once more? Or do you quit on the spot and take your chances somewhere else? Thinking about hypotheticals is fun because it forces you to use your imagination and fast decision making that can either make or break a situation. I love imagining about the what ifs of things. I love creating a story that is fully based solely on interaction and can even determine what kind of person you are. Could you survive a zombie apocalypse with only one leg if you were careful? If you were gifted a superpower, but the downside was that it took one year out of your lifespan, would you use it? If you had to chug an entire half gallon of expired chunky milk in order for your teeth to whiten, would you do so? To be honest, I'd probably pull my teeth out if that's the case. It's, it's kind of gross. <laughs>